it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the Great Swedish Beer Festival 2020. And this is the Modern Pale Lager coming in at 5.3% ABV. Uh, it's a collaborati collaboration between Beer Bliotech, Hop Notch and Highly Brewery. It's 5.5% ABV. So a Modern Pale Lager. 330 milliliter can, like the can design. Without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass. Thank you very much to Håkan in Sweden for sending us the beer. Look at that. Almost, almost the perfect pour. <laughs> a little, little bit of an overspill. But do you know what? The beer looks lovely in the glass. We got a two finger white head. Good levels of slow moving carbonation. It certainly is a modern lager. Um, it's it's nice and hazy, straw coloured, slow moving carbonation. I'm a big fan of beer biotech. They make some incredible beer. And if you've tuned into this, you've seen lager on the thumbnail of the video and you're looking at this thinking, that doesn't look like lager. Honestly, trust me, this is, if you're used to drinking kind of like mainstream lagers and you're looking at this thinking, trust me on this, it, you would probably enjoy it if you give it a go. It's supposed to be hazy. Let's get the aroma. Lemony, slight kind of clementine, tangerine flavours coming through. Soft, a certain kind of soft clementine flavour. It's almost like I'm getting a sense of the soft water, the, the soft Swedish water. That might sound really strange. That might be like, what? Well, but it's the way the hops are promoted. If you treat the water, good, good breweries will treat their water to promote flavour, to promote the malt and the hops. And it's almost like the, the hops that are coming from the glass are just helping me kind of realise that they may have treated the water here. Or it's natural kind of Swedish water they've used. Anyway, it smells fantastic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Boom! Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows. That's a really, really good beer. Really good beer, really crisp, really refreshing. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. It's got a nice, very new world approach, a new world flavour to a... It's like a, like a pale ale, if you like, but, but it's a lager. It's definitely a lager. It's really crisp, really refreshing. Flavours... Um, It's got a tight, a slight rainbow sherbet, rainbow sherbet taste about it. Grapefruit, slight grapefruity flavour. A little bit of bitterness on the back of the palate. A good lager will have a little bit of bitterness, if, certainly if it's a, a Pilsner style lager. Ah, it's lovely. Really good. It's, it, it really, I mean, 5.5% ABV. Ooh, for me, I could probably have a few of these. Get, get into a little bit of trouble, maybe. <laughs> Not not um, battling trouble, not that sort of trouble, but 
sit down in the corner falling asleep trouble at beer festivals. This is brewed for the great Swedish beer festival. So yeah, if I had a few of these, I'd be looking for a bench somewhere in the sun. But yeah, I mean, it's well hidden. The alcohol is well hidden. You could have a few of these, you really could. And then maybe find a hot dog or <laughs> so a big juicy cheeseburger. That's what normally goes down at beer festivals. A couple of cracking beers. And then your nose starts gravitating towards the, the cheeseburger stand. Oh. And, and, and the thing is, I want to talk about this because it is a beer that's been brewed for the Swedish Craft Beer Festival. The I want to talk about beer festivals for a, for a minute because I we've been in this situation now for uh, forever and I've not been to a beer festival, I've not been to any kind of event for over a year now. And I really miss the people. I really miss the people. I really miss the friendships. I really miss the beer. And I really miss the, the, the burger stands. I really, really miss the burger stands. So one of the best beer festivals I went to in 2019, before all the terribleness happened of 2020, I went to Brewski Val. And I had this, um, I had this steak burger. Oh, I had this like steak burger with, real good quality cheese and I remember drinking about four Imperial Stouts in a row and I remember singing in the queue I was singing in the queue at the at the, at the burger stand and <laughs> it was just it was just a laugh you know it was just a laugh I managed to get my burger really totally hungry by that stage wolf the burger down but then you're ready to go again you're ready to go and get your next Imperial Stout or your next double IPA or your next IPA and Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. This beer reflects all of that in the glass. It reflects beer festivals. It's a it's a beer to an enjoy to enjoy, and it's a beer to session if you so wish. You could session this if you want. Breweries, uh, beer Blytech, yeah, I know them guys. Hop Notch, don't think I know them, and I definitely don't know Highly. I think it's called Highly Brewery. Uh, the Swedish craft beer scene is flourishing, vibrant and growing day by day. The first great Swedish beer festival in 2019 gathered over 100 Swedish craft breweries. A manifest manifestation of the creativity, diversity, productivity and friendship in the Swedish brewing community. In the hand is our first official festival beer, a collaboration born out of friendship and shared love and a shared love for craft beer. A modern pale ale brewed with some of the collaborating breweries favorite hops yeah i mean that just sums it all up doesn't it sums it all up beer looks good in the glass smells good tastes wonderful i'm gonna rate it I'm gonna give it a stone the crows nine out of ten so nine out of ten from real ale craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers